Hey guys, ano yung basa nyo dun sa caption ng thumbnail natin? Pambato ng 2024? Or pambato ng 2024? Kasi itong phone na i-review natin, eh, pwede talagang ipambato sa mga mister nyo pag nagloko sila. Kaya kawawa sila kasi sobrang tibay ng phone na to. Nakita nyo naman yung sobrang daming marketing na ginawa ni Honor dito with a lot of social media influencers na talagang binabagsak, drop test to the max, and then meron pang mga pinang smash ng apple, smash ng pinya, o kung ano-ano pa man yung ginamitan nila dito para mas smash. So, nakita nyo yung tibay ng display nito. It's using some sort of kunlun glass perhaps, pero I don't think market nila ng todo na Kunlun Glass 2 to but most likely it's Kunlun Glass 2 and meron din tong SGS certification that means matibay po talaga yung device na to. So being a marketing graduate, eh wala naman na akong problema sa ginawang marketing ni Honor. I mean, kanya-kanyang style yan and pumatok naman ng todo although marami rin ang nainis na puro ganun na lang ang ginawa. Kaya etong gagawin natin na review is wala tayong drop test, wala tayong durability test Pag-usapan lang natin mismo yung capabilities ng device na to. Biruin nyo yun guys, nalapasan na natin ang pinakamahabang buwan ngayong 2024, ang January. Pero, ang tanong, bakit hindi pa rin kayo nakasubscribe dito sa Pinoy Tech Dad? Well, gusto ko lang ipalala sa inyo na kung gusto nyo matuto about tech and phones in general, this is the time to subscribe dahil gagawa po tayo ng maraming informative videos and I'll try to do my best to make them as fun as I can para wala na kayong dahilan para hindi mag-subscribe dito sa Pinoy Tech Dad. Okay, so pag-usapin na natin yung Honor X9B. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, meron akong quick review na ginawa ko dun sa TikTok as well as sa Facebook. So kung gusto nyo munang panoorin yon, check nyo muna yon, And then dito pag-usapan na natin mas in-depth yung Honor X9B. So first off, yung build and design niya. This is a very strong and durable phone talaga guys. If you want a rugged phone for its durability, for its toughness, this can definitely match any rugged phone out there in the market right now. Sobrang tibay po nito. Ang problema lang siguro is that hindi siya IP68 na water and dust resistant. So IP53 lang yung resistance nito. Kaya sa tingin ko sa aspetong water and dust resistance lang matatalo itong Honor X9B versus a rugged device. Pero pag-usapang rugged device kasi, di ba ang inaasahan natin, sobrang kapal na device yan. But this one, is slim. And you would never assume na ganun katibay yung Honor X9B. However guys, huwag po kayong magpapakampante sa tibay ng front and back panel nitong phone na to. Dahil yung frame niya mismo is not damage proof. So if ever mabagsak nyo to na nakanto nyo, then most likely magkakaroon ng damage yung frame mismo. Tulad na lang na nangyari dito sa hawak kong unit. So yun lang naman yung paalala ko pagdating sa tibay ng device na to na yung frame niya is still not damage proof. Now sa usapang design naman, medyo kinontinue lang ni Honor yung design nila with the Honor X9A na merong circular camera module tayo na napakalaki. And then syempre yung utang kasi natin na pag nakakita tayo ng napakalaki na circular camera module, eh, may isip natin about most likely maganda yung camera nito. Which was not the case for the Honor X9A last year. Pero tingnan natin yung improvement sa camera nito now that they abandoned the Snapdragon 695 na sobrang thumbs down talaga para sa akin. So speaking of the chipset, meron tong Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 na very power efficient so far. And halos kasing lakas lang ng Snapdragon 778G. Now, I would say mas optimized lang talaga yung Snapdragon 778G because it's been out in the market for a longer time than the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1. And also, para sa mga techies who are always keeping track, yung Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 is manufactured by Samsung. Hindi po siya TSMC produced na chipset. So take what you want from that information kasi merong bad reputation si Samsung manufacturing ng chipset. So pagdating sa mga benchmarks na ginawa ko, nakakuha tayo ng around 500,000 na tutu benchmark points on the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 dito sa Honor X9B. And then sa 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Test naman, almost the same lang talaga sila ng performance ng Snapdragon 778G. That means pwede kang maglaro ng mga AAA games at around medium graphical settings. And then yung mga mas mahinang games naman, 
eh pwede nyong isagad yung graphical settings without any problem at all. But speaking of games, I only tried two games on this one. Yung Mobile Legends, of course, wala tayong problema doon. Ito yung graphical setting na nakuha ko. But then the game that I really wanted to test here sa Honor X9B was Genshin Impact. And with Genshin Impact, naset ko naman siya sa medium graphical settings and sinagad ko sa 60 FPS. And so far, nakakuha naman ako ng consistent gameplay experience pagdating sa frame rates. Siguro the only surprising thing for me is that umabot pa rin ng 43 degrees Celsius kahit na naka medium graphical settings lang tayo. Siguro dahil na rin yun sa pag-angat ko ng FPS to 60. But I would just like to point out sa inyo guys na hindi naman to na market as a gaming phone. This is heavily marketed as a camera slash very durable phone. So mamaya pag-usapan natin yung camera. But overall, for gaming, eh, pwedeng pwede kayong mag-casual gaming dito. And then pagdating sa performance niya, maning-mani lang po yung mga basic na applications na ginagamit natin for social media, for watching videos on YouTube or Netflix. And mamaya pag-usapan natin kung kumusta nga ba yung quality ng display ng Honor X9B. Actually, wag na mamaya. Diretso na natin. Pag-usapan na natin yung display nito. So, meron tong AMOLED na display with 120Hz refresh rate na pwede nyong i-switch from dynamic to normal na 60Hz and then pwede nyong i-lock to 120Hz yung refresh rate. Pagdating naman sa color options, meron tayong option to choose the normal na colors and then meron ring vivid. So medyo limited lang tayo kasi meron lang tayong dalawang color profiles na andito sa phone. But the beautiful thing here pagdating sa display, bukod pa sa 1.5K resolution niya, is that meron tayong video enhancer. So kung gusto nyo mas mapaganda pa lalo yung viewing experience nyo with Netflix, eh pwedeng pwede nyo i-turn on yung video enhancer dahil meron rin tong wide vine level 1. So may enjoy nyo ng husto ng full HD resolution yung mga Netflix shows na pinapanood nyo or yung movies na paborito nyo. Pagdating sa panonood ng videos on YouTube, medyo may na-encounter lang akong issue pagdating sa resolution kasi minsan nawawala yung option ng highest resolution sa videos na pinapanood ko. Yung issue na to, hindi ko sigurado kung sa software ba ni Honor mismo or sa software ni YouTube mismo. But either way, sigurado naman akong maayos tong issue na to through a software update. Now, going back sa panonood ng videos dito, whether on YouTube or on Netflix, siguro one complaint that I have is related to the speaker. So, mono lang po yung speaker ng Honor X9B, which is a shame. At 17,000 pesos, we should get dual speakers na dapat. So, medyo may kahinaan yung mono speaker na ginamit nila on the Honor X9B. So, dun lang sa aspetong yun na nakulangan talaga ako dito sa phone na to. Susunod naman, pag-usapan na natin yung camera. Dahil nga, sobrang laki ng camera module nito. Iniisip natin, maganda siguro yung camera nito. And then, meron rin tong 5 megapixel na ultra-wide and 2 megapixel na macro lens. So, pag-usapan rin natin yan mamaya. But, let's focus more on the main camera. So, pagdating sa main camera, solid naman yung mga shots na makukuha natin. I would rate it from decent to good at best. So, the best na yung good na rating, no? So, hindi natin makukuha talaga yung mga almost flagship level na quality dahil una, medyo kulang tayo sa sharpness. And pangalawa, kulang tayo sa color or vibrance. And pangatlo, minsan medyo blown out yung details, medyo masyado mataas yung highlights. At pag nangyari yun, medyo mahirap nang i-recover yung image or ma-fix. Pero para sa mga hindi naman gaano maate pagdating sa camera quality, I'm sure eh, masisihan pa rin naman kayo sa overall quality na makukuha nyo on this device. And I would just like to point out that this one takes way better photos than the Honor X9A. As in, ang layo ng agwat pagdating sa quality ng photos, isama mo na rin yung videos. And that's all because they ditched the Snapdragon 695. Talagang yung Snapdragon 695 na yan, I am gonna campaign against it. Basta presyong 15,000 pesos and above para sa chipset na yan. Thumbs down yan palagi para sa akin. But I digress. Balik tayo dito sa Honor X9B. So, sa ultra-wide naman niya, medyo nakukulangan din ako sa quality and then sa kulay 
naging iba, medyo darker yung nakukuha nating photos pag nag-ultra wide tayo, mas mataas yung contrast kumpara dun sa main camera, and then yung details niya kulang talaga, and then yung macro lens, huwag na natin pag-usapan yun. 2 megapixel macro lens should never exist in a phone in 2024, lalo na sa ganitong price range. Now, surprisingly, decent naman yung nakuha natin photos at nighttime and mga low light scenarios para dito sa X9B. However, medyo weird lang yung night mode nitong phone na to dahil hindi maganda yung night mode niya. Actually, mas pumapangit pa yung itsura ng photo pag ginamita mo ng night mode kasi hindi maganda yung algorithm na ginamit. So, hindi niya nakokontrol na maayos yung ilaw sa background. So, like this example na pinapakita ko sa inyo. No, bago natin pag-usapan yung video quality, pag-usapan muna natin na mabilisan yung selfie camera. So, meron tong 16 megapixels na selfie camera. Surprisingly, para sa akin, okay yung quality pagdating sa photos. Yung video niya, medyo so-so lang at 1080p 30fps. Now, let's move on sa video capability nito. 4K 30fps. This was something na hindi kayang maibigay ng Honor X9A from last year na hanggang 1080p, 30fps lang na same price lang rin. So I'm really sorry para sa mga nakabili ng Honor X9A. Sobrang kulang talaga yung features na nakuha nyo. Again, for the price that you paid for. So I'm happy with this development na meron tayong 4K, 30fps. And I'm not even gonna complain too much na hindi stable yung video nito. Kasi para sa akin, okay na yung quality niya. Lagyan nyo lang ng proper gimbal or huwag kayong masyadong malikot pag nag-video kayo. Uh, basta, sobrang laking upgrade nito. This is a huge upgrade over the X9A. Again, 1080p, 30fps. Pagdating sa isang phone in 2023 last year, nakakadismaya yun sobra. So overall, decente yung camera ng Honor X9B. It's way better than the Honor X9A. However, meron pang mga better options pagdating sa camera phone in 2024 kung makahanap pa kayo ng Poco X5 Pro, ng Infinix 030 5G, and then yung Samsung Galaxy A34. I think those phones have better cameras than the Honor X9B. Kung camera lang naman yung habol nyo at this price range. Basta tatandaan nyo lang palagi na kung may phone kayong makita at the same price range na merong Snapdragon 695 instantly Iwasan niyo po yan kasi hindi po maganda yung camera niyan kahit ano pang pambobola ang gawin sa inyo ng mga brands. Anyway, now let's talk about the battery capacity itong Honor X9B na merong 5,800 mAh. That's a huge battery capacity for something that is very slim. So hindi ko in-expect actually na masisiksik nila na ganong kalaking battery capacity for this device and I'm actually impressed na maganda talaga yung battery life nito. Siguro power efficient lang din talaga yung Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 and then siguro idagdag mo na rin yung magandang UI na ginamit nila for the Honor X9B. So ina-advertise nila tong Honor X9B na merong 3 days of battery life and that's with casual use. And I would tend to agree na halos ganun yung battery life na pwede mo talaga i-expect with this device. But again, as I always tell you dito sa channel, Your mileage may vary, iba-iba po yung usage natin, but for casual use, eh definitely pwede mo talagang isagad up to 3 days yung battery life nito. And ako na mismo ang magpapatunay na maganda yung standby time ng phone na to kasi umabot ng 1 week without having to recharge the phone kasi meron akong tinetest na ibang phone so medyo naka-standby lang siya at that time and hindi talaga na-drain yung battery niya to zero. Panghuli, pag-usapan natin na mabilisan yung software. So, naka-Magic UI 7.2 po ito and naka-Android 13 out of the box but hopefully we get the Android 14 really soon. And then, habang tinetest ko siya ay nagkaroon tayo ng update. So, maganda naman yung track record nila so far pagdating sa updates. Regular naman po daw yung binibigay na Honor updates sa mga devices nila. Now, if there is one major complaint that I have para sa Honor X9B pagdating sa software, it has to be with the camera software. So, sa camera software kasi medyo mahirap ma-access right away yung camera resolution options. So, kung gusto mo mag-change resolution from 1080p to 4K resolution, eh wala pong quick menu para doon. So kailangan mo pa talagang halukatin sa settings bago mo mapalitan yung video resolution ng camera mo. Alright guys, so yun po yung review natin ng Honor X9B. And with that said, the big question right now is would I recommend this phone para sa inyo? And the answer is, 
it depends kung anong klaseng user ka. If you're a hardcore gamer, you're a power user na gusto mo talaga ng ultimate performance, this is not the phone for you. You might want to look at other devices tulad na lang ng Poco X6 Pro and other high performance options. Kasi yung chipset po nito is modest lang kung usapan lang is performance. Don't get me wrong, this can still really perform well lalo na pareho lang naman siya halos ng performance level with the Snapdragon 778G. Pero kilala ko kasi majority ng viewers ko gusto yung great performance at great value for their money. And again, I'm telling you guys, this is not the phone for you. This phone is more for the people who need a very durable device, malakas, matibay, and decent pa rin yung performance, decent pa rin yung camera, and ang maganda dito, hindi naman po buggy yung software niya. Sayang nga lang guys at hindi in-offer dito sa atin, dun lang sa Malaysia, yung free one-year screen and back replacement pag mabasag yung device mo within one year after purchasing it. So, hindi po available yun dito sa Philippines. Baka kasi may nabasa kayo, wala po siya dito sa atin. But even with that information, I would say, sobrang tibay po talaga ng Honor X9B. Again, kung kailangan mo ng device na sobrang tibay and casual gamer ka lang naman, hindi ka naman heavy gamer, pwedeng-pwede na po itong phone na to para sa inyo. And another downside pala guys na hindi ko nabanggit, mabagal po yung charging niya at 35 watts. Baka lang po kasi mabanggit sa comment section na may inumit ako na information. Nakalimutan ko lang po. But anyway, yun po yung thoughts ko about the Honor X9B. Kung gusto mong bumili, ililink ko po yan dyan sa description box para legit po yung mapagbibilhan nyo. And kung gusto mo pang manood ng mga videos ko matuto about phones, may mga lilink po ko dyan. Panagurado, magugustuhan nyo yung mga yan. So hanggang sa susunod, ako nga pala ulit si Janus ng Pinotech Dad. Kita-kita ulit tayo. Yeah!